I'm Amanda, and these are the 20 food prep basics all organic agricultural trainees should know. Not only will knowing these steps help you in the kitchen when you create delicious plant-based foods, but they are going to transform the lives of the individuals you help when you share what you've learned from Organics for Orphans with other communities. Shall we get started? Now you're going to learn how to make marinated kale. Kale, also known as skooma or skooma wiki, is an incredibly nutritious food. Raw, it doesn't always taste the best to some people. So, we marinate it to break down the fiber as well as make it more nutritious. To marinate kale, the first thing you need to do is to get some kale, make sure it's washed, and then go to your cutting board. One of the first things I do is I de-stem the kale. I grab from the bottom and just work my hand up like that. Or, you can see, it's been de-stemmed. Or, I use my knife and I lay it flat and I just core it like that. Two simple chops, both work. So it's up to you and what you want to do. So now that you've destemmed your kale, the next step is to take a portion of it and slice it very thinly. I'm going to do this on the cutting board and I'm going to fold it over, as you can see, and using your handy knife skills you learned earlier, do nice thin slices. it maybe once down the middle so you have small pieces for your kale. Then transfer it to a small to medium sized bowl. To marinate kale basically means to break down the fiber of it so it not only tastes more nutritious but is more nutritious and digests more easily. So in order to do that we have a few different options. We can use a combination of olive oil and sea salt and non-iodized sea salt is always optimal. In addition we need a fat, so we usually use olive oil or we can use avocado and do an avocado rub. If it's difficult for you to get avocados or extra virgin olive oil, you can always use a combination of lime juice and sea salt. So the first step is to pull out the edible avocado. As you can see, not all of this is totally good. So we want to use only the good part of the avocado. Then we're going to Lightly slice it with a spoon, it's very soft. Pull it out, make sure you don't have any inedible bits, and add it to the bowl of marinated kale. I'm going to use at least one more half of avocado to do this. If I were marinating kale with extra virgin olive oil, I'd probably add about one tablespoon of olive oil. You can see that this avocado, it's not pure oil, so it has more fat and more fiber, as well as more nutrition. So we're going to use a bit more than just a tablespoon. I'm going to peel the avocado, add it to the salad. And this is where it gets really fun because if you're doing an avocado rub, you're going to use your hands. So like we discussed in step number one, make sure your hands are very clean because what you're preparing is gonna go into other people's bodies and you wanna make sure that you're not passing on anything dangerous like germs or foreign bacteria. Next step is to add a bit of sea salt. And we're going to add about half a teaspoon to three fourths a teaspoon. You can begin with a spoon if you want to break up all the different parts of the avocado. But it's really important when you marinate kale, whether with olive oil or avocado or even just lime juice, that you use your hands to really break down and massage the kale. Massage is the key word. So we've broken up the avocado, and I want you to keep in mind what it looked like before. I am now massaging the kale, and I'm helping break down the fiber with the sea salt and the olive oil. Notice how it's getting a lot smaller. Notice how it's also getting much more green. That's a key sign that the cell wall and the kale is being broken down, which is good. It means it's going to taste more delicious, especially in combination with the avocado and the sea salt, and it's going to be easier to digest by our bodies. So, it's not the least messy of dishes to prepare 
but it's incredibly nutritious. And I guarantee you that if you use your skuma wiki and prepare it this way when making a salad or even just as a side dish with some chopped up tomatoes and more, it's going to wow the people you create it for. So that is how to marinate kale.